Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with Dublin, Ireland-based pianist and composer Jetta Minus Karkowskis. He opened up about COVID, his debut 2020 CD, Lost Suite, and his life in music. His history and stories are ones you should hear. Dig it. Well, hey, man, thank you for taking a minute out. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Joe, for, for connecting with me. Um, I appreciate so much uh, the joy to, to share the, <laughs> my new album and speaking of the lost suite, talk to me a little bit about this is coming out during a global pandemic. Talk to me about the timing and just how you feel about having new material come out during this time. It is really exciting to being locked on something and being uh, being con- uh, concentrating on something to produce for 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 people uh, to to listen uh, i'm talking directly in the music and uh, feel that that's what we do about most like all the time and uh, that's really exci- excites me because there's a, a been a, a journey and a couple of attempts for me to release the album and this time it's finally i i, I was happy to to say uh, the flag green flag to go it it on the on the album as the as the an album it was before i tried a couple times and there was small recordings i was on the search or something for um well didn't know what to expect uh, actually too much but uh, it's something accumulated uh, within the those years and uh, and then it just happened that that time of the <laughs> covid the release days this is your debut correct that's correct so this has to be a big relief to have kind of this dream realized happen absolutely no no doubts absolutely um Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like uh, as I mentioned, it was uh, many attempts uh, in the past, but never finalized to the point that it would take a shape of the album or or something release date. Uh, I was fortunate, fortunately, that uh, uh, Teddy uh, D Promotions contacted me, and uh, we we teamed up, and a really big help was from them to to finalize the release. In your life as a jazz musician, how did all this begin, like your childhood? Who were some influences? How did the seeds of music and jazz get in you? Well, in the the jazz music, it was uh, in the family from the small days. Perhaps my dad was uh, playing uh, saxophone, my brother playing uh, saxophone and clarinet. I was putting at the piano at the early age. And it was always music uh, in in the house. My mom... uh, all, all family is musicians, so there was no no um, stranger to music. Definitely no development in the music, schools, colleges, uh, and so on, etc. It's it's a long process until you uh, probably getting more mature and uh, trying to express uh, something. It, uh, you want to share your. Uh, the, the way you express and uh, in the music terms, in the music language, uh, and that's really a big cocktail <laughs> yeah. of the of uh, jazz influences, uh, classical influences uh, from all styles. I won't be specifying. I really, really try to let it go and uh, spontaneously in the compositions what will come out uh, this it's not totally stranger i was uh, guiding uh, the, the, the how to say designing the music uh, let's say like this that would have a shape of the piano music in of course the genre is jazz but it have beside uh, many other influences because uh, i was exposed to uh, for for, for uh, Many classical music uh, music, music genres, like uh, from Baroque to, to uh, Impressionism, and uh, so that that definitely influenced the music. What was the first live show that you ever saw that really made you think that's something I want to do with my life? That that's long time ago, <laughs> really long time ago. Um, I never, never really questioned that. That, that, that was no transition. Uh, this I, I saw 
Key Jarrett's concert. That's really impressive. And I was attending um, lots of McCoy Turner concerts and uh, and b- big names. Uh, uh, Brad Maldo, uh, probably I didn't miss uh, uh, a concert. And uh, uh, so many of, of, uh, of, of the concerts, but never I set it the goal, like, that's it, that's what I wanted to do. Um, it was probably from the beginning, it's... I ha- I had to do it. Like I mean, not had to do it. I loved. To, I loved doing that, <laughs> and uh, always been going that route without questioning too much myself. And uh, there was a point that it looks everything fruitless. Would you just keep pedaling, and uh, you just you understand that that's what you love doing in life. You you love playing, and you love writing something, and uh, you love when somebody will say like oh look I, I i love that tune it's really actually weird who whose tune is that and you say like i i wrote that <laughs> and that, that's biggest reward i guess um so i mean there was no big transition that at certain point i said that's what i'm going to do it was from the very beginning what do you like the best about being a professional musician that's a good one um what I like, I like in the morning sitting down and playing Bach. <laughs> okay. Really, I love the instrument. <laughs> I love the instrument. And uh, what being a professional, uh, absolutely the communication, the community of the musicians is the is the really uh, what uh, is fascinating. And sharing your ideas um, about life and uh, music, about all um, thoughts, that, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. I think sometimes uh, you think, well, gosh, I'm privileged to be surrounded uh, by musicians and uh, people who appreciate music. And it's the conversations and talks, uh, very fulfilling, knowledgeable, fulfilling, uh, intellectual. Um, that's what I, the way I would describe. And that's for me, it's a big push uh, to, to be in the, in, the, in the music and the community of, of people. Speaking of the community and music live and all of that, when we do return in earnest to the stage, you're on stage, I'm in the crowd, what do you hope we all realize about the power of live music that we've been away from for almost over a year now? Oh, hopefully that's relief, something we evaluate and we um, uh, evaluate what privilege we uh, have to be uh, uh, experiencing uh, emotional uh, emotional states in, in the performances and being together. And, and then afterwards you can communicate, share with others' experiences. Uh, that's probably the... Uh, what the expectations would be from uh, when we will resume the uh, performances. I think this is really, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but sometimes maybe we forgot how, how great it is to go out and, uh, and uh, to listen to uh, good music somewhere in the in venue. The next question I have for you here is, is that, Whenever things start kind of waking up, and I know, you know, Ireland's in a different place than America is, but how do you see this year unfolding and you getting into live music and things kind of getting back to some level of what it used to be? We all can't wait and to go back to the, to the concerts and, and the events, and it's really where we socialize and the community. Great vibe is... Uh, it's initial for 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 people, and uh, that's it keeps us really um, vibrant in life. And the same for the musicians. We want to perform and uh, to share your your new inventions and and uh, compositions. I'm not not sure really. Um, th- I don't really expect maybe uh, something drastically uh, differently, but. We just can't, I just can't, personally, I can't wait until it will be green flag and go and uh, do the concert because mm-hmm. I, I have already some, um, uh, some, um, I would say, the propositions for, for, for to make a, mm-hmm. a concerts. So 
I'm really looking for forward to it, but uh, I'm not expecting anything dramatically will be changed. Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, sure. So everyone has a perception of who they think you are, your family, your friends, your fans, but you're the one that's living your life. Who do you think you are? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, 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 yes, I'm, I'm a musician's, musician philosopher, I would say. Um, uh, yeah, the philosophy is one of the, my, um, of the engines uh, to, to explore uh, into different, uh, maybe different way of, of uh, uh, tackling the music and uh, trying to open up some um, unexpected way of playing, but I'm not much concentrating because I know that everything is is uh, based on the in us in the past. So um, that's very very tricky. Um, yeah, always was thinking that uh, I'm good at the philosophy, <laughs> music philosophy. Yeah, man, that's a great answer. I, I really appreciate you taking some time out today i'm 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 really delighted that i've had the chance to reach out to cats and in ireland and to get your perspective on things good luck with the album and the return to the stage thank you joe thanks i appreciate it for your call uh, really uh, it was a privilege to talk thanks for listening and tuning in to another neon jazz interview where we give you a bit of insight into the finest cats in ireland kansas city and spots all over the world giving fans all that jazz and thanks to mr karkowskis for his time music and story if you want to hear more interviews, go to Famous Interviews with Joe Domino in the iTunes Store. Visit Neon Jazz at YouTube.com. And for everything Neon Jazz all the time, go to the neonjazz.blogspot.com. Until next time, enjoy the jazz, my friends. Neon Jazz.